Have you ever dreamt of living in Midtown, New York, and you're curious as to what the neighborhood's like? Well, you're in luck. Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Peter McLean from Corcoran, and finding your home is my mission. Now, most of the businesses in New York City are located in Midtown Manhattan, which is the middle borough of Manhattan. But how is life there? Well, watch this video till the end to find out. And also because I just might have a bonus tip for you. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Starting with number seven, where is Midtown Manhattan? I feel a tour of a place should always begin with its location. Midtown Manhattan is the main business area of New York City and the central part of the borough of Manhattan. Midtown is below Central Park, bounded by 23rd Street in the south and 59th Street as the northern border. The East River is to the east and the Hudson River is to the west, forming an east-west line that runs through the middle of Manhattan. Since you now have a clear picture as to the location, now we can discuss the real estate scene. Moving on to number six, what is it like having a house in Midtown Manhattan? Well, the geography of a place largely affects the real estate market and being in such a strategic central position, the cost of housing is over 300% higher than the national average in Midtown Manhattan, with the average rent being around $4,600. The cost of living is quite high, but it's justified mainly because of the world famous landmarks like the Empire State Building, Times Square, and the Rockefeller Center. And all of these are right at your disposal. The median home price is 1.2 million, up 9.5% from last year. And the overall cost of living is also quite high compared to other areas of Manhattan. Surely if you're spending all this money to live here, it better come with good employment opportunities, right? Coming to number five, let's talk about the top employers in the area. Now, people would only live in a place with a high cost of living if they found good jobs there, right? Well, this is true for Midtown Manhattan as well. And it's home to some of the best companies in the world, like JP Morgan Chase, Deloitte, Citigroup, and more. These businesses in Midtown Manhattan have a big effect on the economy in the area. Not only do these recruiters create jobs, but they also bring in the best people from around the world, which makes for a strong and skilled workforce. This then brings in more businesses, which helps Midtown Manhattan's economy grow. Moving on to number four, let's talk about the top landmarks. Now, all work and no places to play makes for a sad homeowner. But everyone needs places to go out and have fun, right? Well, there's no lack of them in Midtown. Some of the most famous buildings in the city are in Midtown. These include the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, the Hudson Yards Redevelopment Project, the UN Headquarters, Grand Central Terminal, and the Rockefeller Center. There's also Broadway, Times Square, and Koreatown, many popular tourist attractions. New York City's Penn Station is also there, and that's the largest transportation hub in the Western Hemisphere. Coming to number three, let's talk about major shopping areas. If you're going on a shopping trip in Midtown, Fifth Avenue and 57th Street are the most exclusive and luxurious places to go. Saks Fifth Avenue is just one of those famous shopping havens with a huge selection of high-end clothes, and luxury home goods. And a great stylish side trip is to go to Chanel, whose clothes are known for their classic elegance. Midtown is a great place to shop because it has high-end stores and cute businesses that carry both old and new styles. Oh, and as a big finale for your shopping day, you must visit Bloomingdale's. This will make your shopping trip to Midtown a memorable and luxurious one. Moving on to number two, let's talk about the neighborhoods. Midtown Manhattan is made up of many different neighborhoods and each one has its own very special mix of culture, business and personality. Some of the best are in Hell's Kitchen, where Theatre Row and the ever-busy Times Square amaze both locals and tourists. Some of the nicest places in Midtown East are Sutton Place and Turtle Bay. The Garment District and Herald Square are where all the action is in the fashion world. Chelsea, Koreatown and Rose Hill all have a wide range of art, food and exciting cultural experiences. There's a lot of charm in Madison Square and the Flatiron District. Union Square and Gramercy are famous for their buildings. Together, these neighborhoods make up Midtown's diverse and lively urban structure. Last but not least at number one, let's talk about the food scene. As you travel across Midtown Manhattan, you'll find a wide range of gourmet havens. Carne Bailora opened up last month in January 2024 and looks like to be a meat lover's paradise. On the Upper West Side, Mass Market promotes community nourishment with organic gifts. West Market in Hell's Kitchen is also very popular. And the Food Emporium in the Theatre District has fresh sushi that will delight you. Big Apple Meat Market is a hidden gem that serves meat lovers. And Whole Foods Market in Hell's Kitchen is a firm local favourite. At the start of the video, we talked about a bonus tip, that being free things to do in Midtown Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan is known for being expensive, but there are a lot of free cultural events going on there all the time. 
Folk art greats like Martin Ramirez and Thornton Dial are honored at the American Folk Art Museum in Lincoln Square. The famous High Line, which is a beautiful park built on top of an old train track, has stunning views and an ever-changing collection of public art. There are free displays at the New York Public Library branches, especially at the Stephen A. Schwarzman building. One of the most interesting current ones is called Treasures. If you like this video and would like to see more content, click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Peter McLean from Corcoran and I'm a real estate agent here in New York City. Contact me if I can be of service to you. My contact info is in the description box below. If you want to receive epic topics about the city of New York, make sure to subscribe and follow me here and on all my other socials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And remember, your home is my mission.